Hello game devs, welcome back to another Jivala 5 tutorial. So today we will continue our Chrome Dinosaur game. Um this is the second part on the this is the second and final part of this tutorial. So if you haven't seen the first part, I would advise you check that out because without it you won't understand this tutorial. Um the link is in the description below. So let's um continue from where we start but first um I'll just have a preview of this. So in this tutorial, we will be I uh, um we will be creating our uh, obstacles. This are uh, the cactus. Um, our score here is our score. Um, also our high score, and um the game over. Um, screen here we go. So close that. Um. Okay, so this is exactly where I stopped in my last tutorial. So um, it just begin from here. So let's add in our obstacles, add an object, sprite. Um let's rename this obstacles. Since there are more than one, add an animation um add. Okay, so let's add in our first one, add an animation, add um our second Add an animation, add third, um, add an animation, add, um, there we go, fourth, um, add an animation, add, um, the fifth, add an animation, add, um, okay, let's add in the sixth, here we go. Add an animation. Okay, um add an animation. The seventh add an animation. Okay. Add the um this should be the eighth and add an animation. So remember um this this is also um an obstacle, so we'll just add that in open so that's loop um, preview. Okay, that's a bit. That's so fast. Okay. Apply. Um. Okay. Let's put this into our scene. First obstacle. X position. Um. Okay. Let's have the X position. It's about six five. Four Y position of oh, four um five five. Okay, so put in another obstacle. X position um one zero four three Y position four five five. Okay, so now let's go to our events. Event, um, just close this up. Let's create a new group. Um, group and just name this obstacle. Add a subcondition, add a condition. Um, beginning of the scene, at the beginning of the scene, add an action. Um, scene variable. Value of scene variable, variable ob stackle underscore speed, variable speed, um, set to value one. Okay, add an empty event, add a condition, scene variable. So in the scene variable, um, game running, we created this in the first part. So the scene variable game running is an operator is equal to value one that's when the game is still um running um add an action um exposition exposition of an object that's exposition of obstacle which is an operator um so that's a subtract value variable open a bracket um Oh. 
open oh sorry open a bracket um obstacle underscore speed and close that okay so we'll subtract um from the variable obstacle speed in order to decide the x position of our obstacle so add an empty event um add a condition sorry um for each object there we go so for each object that's for each obstacle so for each obstacle um add a condition x position so now the x position of obstacles on um, choose an operator is um less than x position of add a minus um obstacles dot width and open and close the bracket so when um so when the x position of obstacles is less than the obstacles um width add an action x position Exposition of obstacles, which is an operator, add, add 810. Okay, so add 810 to the exposition of obstacles, add an action, um, random, sorry, current animation, We'll go train the animation obstacle. Okay, so this changes the animation of our obstacle to um what we added that is um the other obstacles those are the cactus. So modification sign um equal to value. Let's go for an expression. There we go, random. So random value in steps so minimum value set that to zero maximum since we have nine animation frames set that to nine wait it's eight sorry eight so we set that to eight um step just so that's about zero okay so we have eight animation um Eight animations, so it will um the random to the animations we have. Okay, add an empty event. Add a condition collision. So Dino hitbox boxes in collision with um obstacle. So in Dino is in collision with obstacle. Add an action. Animation. Um, sorry sin variable value of sin variable variable game running which is an operator um set to value zero so it changes um the sin variable game running to zero and add an action animation chain the animation of dino which is an operator set to value Three. So um, three is like the death animation of our dino. Here we go. Edit object. Okay, we haven't added that. Add an animation. Um, add. Okay, here it is. Apply. So when our player is in collision with the cactus, it changes the animation of our dino to um three. So let's preview. Okay, sorry about that. Um Okay, um my obstacle wasn't moving um to fix that. Okay, here is the issue. So the sin variable game running this is a um a lowercase r. So we have to change this to lowercase r and here to lowercase r. And also, um, sin variable subtracts from the variable 
scroll speed this is um, the scroll speed variable so you subtract from scroll speed okay preview here we go okay our player was in collision with it um okay so now our obstacles exposition changes when it's less than the screen width um in this case it's better to use this than create object um action now let's add in um the score okay for now i'll just toggle this okay here we go. As you can see, it creates um, the obstacles randomly. Okay. Okay. So now let's add in the score. Dino. Um. Okay. So let's create a um, text named as score. Text, um, let's set about zero, that's like five zeros. Um, bold, color, size 20, font, um, let's just say that's black and apply. Place it around here, sorry, the font. Which is a new font, here we go. Apply. So, this is the font I want to use for this okay it just plays around here and let's go to our events dino events create a new group group um name this score now add a subcondition, we already have one here. So um add an add a condition um timer. So the value of a scene timer time in seconds 0 0.15, that's 0 0.15 seconds timers name um score. Timers name score and also sin variable so sin variable game running is equal to one add an action um sin variable value of sin variable variable score choose an operator um add so we'll add um one so we'll add one to our sin variable score now, so everyone, um, 0 0.15 seconds, one is added to the score. So add an empty event, add a condition, um, okay, so now text, let's modify the text of a text object, uh, modify the text. Choose an object, score, choose an operator, set to text. Um open this, put a double quotation here, um zero zero zero. Here we go. Then add a plus to string, open a bracket, um variable, open the brackets. So we'll use the variable score, close and close on both brackets. So we'll use the variable um, score. Okay, so this connects uh, the scene variable to the text score preview. Okay, here we go. As you can see, um, it's working. So it's working. So it's um it's working now. We need some event to reduce um the reduce the digits in front of the scene variable score so that when our player score is um 
100 it takes a digit out in order to maintain the five um digit limits as you can see this is no longer five one two three four five six seven so we need it to be five so close this um add an empty event add a condition so scene variable value of scene variable variable score choose an operator is greater than or equal to value 100 so when it's greater than or equal to 100 add an action um, modify modify the text score which is an operator um, set to text here we go zero space add a plus to string So two string um open the bracket variable open the bracket score close close okay so now just copy this um sorry add a double zero here since it's still hundred okay so copy add an empty event paste so now the scene variable score is greater than 1000 um the only one zero okay paste again so when the scene variable is greater than let's say um 10,000 then we don't need any zero again so you can just remove all the zeros now preview Okay, so here we go. Now, uh, digits is removed when it's less than or equal to 100, 1000, and 10,000. Well, since nine, um, 99,999 is the highest score achievable, we stopped at 10,000. So let's create our game over events. Close this. Um, Dino. Let's add a game over text. Add a new object text rename this object game over text just write in a game over size about 30 color um let's go with 5d 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 something ash bold um check and apply let's place this into the scene sorry fonts edit objects fonts pixel mix apply there you go exposition um set the exposition to about 295 y position to about three feet five three okay let's create a layer um Add a new layer, rename this game over. So this will be a game over layer. Add the game over text to the layer game over. Now let's add in um the restart button. Add an object sprite. Name this restart. Add an animation. Add um okay. Paste that. So restart and apply. Put this into the scene. Layer game over X position. Um about three seven seven Y position four hundred and three. So um here we go. Well, let's go to our events. Dino events. Create a new group. Rename that um, game over. Add a sub condition. Add a condition. Sin variable. The sin variable game running um, is equals to one. Add an action. Show layer. Show a layer. Um, 
game over so show layer game over set a time scale um time scale chain time scale no change the layer time scale layer um just set that so empty um scale zero Now add an action, um, scene variable. We go scene variable, paste. So do um zero to the scene variable scroll speed, and also for cloud. Here we go cloud speed. Copy that. Um, paste. Do zero to our cloud speed. Okay. Sorry. Um add an empty vent let's pull this in and just move all your actions here. You can select all by clicking on it and holding down shift. Then just move it down. Okay, so Sin variable game running is equals to one. Um, we add a subcondition. Add a condition trigger once. So we'll trigger once while it's true. Now add an empty event. Um, add a condition device is a mobile mobile device. Device is a mobile device. Invert condition. Okay. Add a condition. Touch or left mouse button is down. Button to test um left. Okay. So touch a left mouse button is down. Add a condition. Cursor or touch is on an object that is the restart. Cursor touch is on restart. Add an action. Change to scene. Um Dino. Okay, so we'll change um the scene to Dino preview. Oh, sorry. We have to hide our game over there. Okay, now preview. Oh, sorry about this. Close. Okay, so Dino events. Now we have to um, um here we go. Now if I would disable, let's bring this back. Dino now preview. Okay, something's not right. Scene variable game running is equals to zero. Um, okay, so scene variable game running is equals to zero. Um, that's how to fix this preview. So in the scene variable game running it equals to zero. That is, it changes to zero when Dino is in collision with the cactus. So here we go. When it's in collision, the game over screen comes up. As you can see, it pauses everything, the score, the cloud, and it stops the whole um, scene. Okay, now let's add in um, a high score. Okay, so add a new object, um, text, name, um, high school. High school text, same five zeros, size, um, 20, color, it is a 5D, 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 5D. Okay, bold. Fonts, pixel mix, and apply. High school, put this into the scene. Oh, five zeros. Cancel. Delete objects. Add another zero and apply. Y position. Um, I said the Y position is about 300. X position is about 547. So move this up. Uh, 
name 300 okay so now this is our high school so let's go to our events um dino events add a new group rename this high school add a sub condition add a condition um cancel sin variable game running is equals to um zero we'll just close this up close this this and this okay so here we are sin variable game running is equals to um zero and add a condition sin variable value of sin variable score variable so the variable score choose an operator is greater than value um, variable variable open a bracket um high score so we'll create the same variable later along the line so when our score is greater than our high score add an action let's write a value add a value in a storage storage name save group um I just said this about and sorry that's the name of the group and and so expression variable open a bracket um school okay sorry okay so um write variable school in end of storage save okay now add an empty event add a condition so end exist um, existence of a group name of storage save group end so end exists in storage save um, add an action let's modify modify the text of high school choose an operator set to text let's do the same thing so it maintains the um, five zeros range so text variable um, string open a bracket um, high school and close that okay so okay so we'll add three zeros when it's when um and exists in the storage save now add an empty event um add a condition scene variable value of scene variable um variable high score so the variable high score choose an operator is greater than or equal to value 100 let's use this again copy paste so now we remove one zero and then it's left with two just copy this add an empty event paste sin variable high score is greater than 1000 take out one zero now copy paste again so when it's greater than 10,000 now completely take out all the um, zeros we have in it and also we needed to read um the value so when end exists in storage add an action read read a value um storage name save group um and sin variable high school ok 
Okay, so we'll read n from the storage sleeve and store value in high score. So we we use the high score here. Now preview. Okay. So mom, um, that's our high score. Now if this as you can see it won't change yet because um the score isn't greater than six hundred and five so restart. Okay, so I think we make something dino events. Okay, write variable. So variable score now preview. So six hundred and five collision. So when um when when our score is greater than um, 605, it will um, increase the high score. Preview. Okay, so now um, everything works perfectly except for mobile controls. So um, close it, add in for mobile control, dino, add an object, sprite. Add an animation, um, edit the Pisco. So, since there will be no buttons on the screen, we need to. Um, so, since there are no buttons, we need to create um, a big large button for to cover the whole screen. Okay, so something like this. Let's rename this object Screen Control. Screen control and let's save this. Save object name screen control. So you can use any object you want. Um, for the sake of this, I think I will be using this. So just set that to cover the whole screen. Here we go. So it covers the whole um, screen if it wants to be a mobile device. So now let's go to our events. Um, basic. Add an empty event. Add a condition. Crucial. Or touch an object. Now this is why we added in the screen control. So when a cursor touches on, on screen control. Um, add a condition, trigger once, we need this to work only once, so um, trigger once, simulates pressing a jump for our dino hitbox, also at the beginning of the scene, hide the object, hide the object, um, screen control, so you can choose to add an action to create the object um, at the beginning of the scene, so um here now also let's go to our game over um add an empty event here add a condition device is a mobile device okay so device is a mobile device change scene copy paste dino so preview So here we go, our dino, um, close that, we could also touch it on screen control, okay, so that's not working because we need to add in an act, a condition, add a condition, um, mobile device, so when it's a mobile device and the cursor touches on screen control, trigger one, simulates pressing jump for dino hitbox and also cursor or touch is um, on restart preview. 
so here we go um so now we can see that we have successfully created a chrome dinosaur game in Jitavel 5 um thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video